Hey, what's up guys? This is Victor here and today I want to show you guys how to go about setting up your Gala music nodes. Yes, a number of people have already set up theirs. About 9,000 people have done theirs at the time of this recording. So you're kind of late to the party, not really, but it's still early days. Now they've announced that we can set it up and we are going to be receiving what we call the decibel rewards. I believe that decibel should be the moniker for the tokens for Gala music. So exciting times ahead. This is one we've been waiting for for several months now. So um, in a few short steps, I'll show you how to go about setting this up. Now, if you like the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel in case you want to stay up to date with new products like these before they go mainstream. Now, how to set this up? There are two things that you will need. You will need a Gala music node hopefully you have already purchased your gala music node but most likely you did that on the gala music website you will need to find your way to node.gala.games link is in the video description as well as links to other documentation that might help you set up your account now i'm setting up this account on a mac os i will show you what it should look like on on um, windows but i also have a link to a video that is dedicated to the windows setup as well so that any of you that has issues might be able to reference that video as well um as i mentioned already um the first thing you need is a vps as a virtual private server i think and i have a link in the description it's a referral link and you will get hundred dollars worth of credit which means you don't have to pay for your server for the first three months plus i will also get some reward in case you use that link but it's a win-win for both of us if you choose to do so so um, link in the video description is voter and i think it's one of the most recommended and the best uh, vps services out there once you set up an account username password email and whatnot the next step is you will need to find your way to the product tab so in the product tab is where you would set up a server now i have one running already but i will show you how to create a new one if you are coming over the very first time at the bottom of this page you will see the button saying create a new instance otherwise you can use the um, plus button on the floating button here and deploy a new server so once we do that uh, you would see that some selections had already been made for you but i will show you the correct things to do now there's a link to the official gala notification or, or documentation rather and uh, it provides all the information you need as well but this is just me also doing a video for those of you that may find that too long to read now whilst you're still on the voltaire site um setting up a new server this is the more expensive one at $28 a month you don't need this what you need is a cloud compute it's two dollars fifty a month it's more than necessary or more than enough to run this node the next thing you need is to move away from this high performance AMD um, CPU to just a regular performance it's also very adequate now you also need to choose a location now there are multiple locations in America Europe Australia and Asia choose one that is closest to your location to where you are um, especially for the very first one however if you are setting up more than one node you might need to choose two different locations but for a single node um, choose one that is very close to you at first so as to reduce latency um, in this case Atlanta but I'm in Toronto so that's probably more appropriate the next stage is um, server image and you need to choose Ubuntu that is what we need we also need the 20.04 LTS x64 that's what you need not the 18.04 or the 22.04 so once you make that selection is checked there you move down and we need about 60 gigs of SSD storage uh, unfortunately uh, the next step is 55 gig at 10 dollars um, I think this was strategically placed here and so you would have to select this at 20 dollars we don't need this offer for a four dollars extra space or high performance um, and then we move down they would have already chosen for you auto backups at four dollars a month you could keep that or you could disable it it's left to you based on your preference it doesn't add or remove anything from your performance another thing that you need to make sure is do not enable ipv6 and that is clearly stated in the gala.com node documentation it does not run with ipv6 so you need to disable that and then the next step you need to do is to add your server name so you would have the server name and one that um whatever it is make sure there are no spaces 
and then you hit the deploy button once we've done that after some minutes you would see that your node will be installing and later will be running so this is what we need it to be running for us to be able to move on to the very next step all right so once the server is now having a status of running you can go ahead and set it up now i click on my username here and it's going to show me important information including ip address username password um, confirming that we have two CPUs, four gig of RAM, 80 gigs of SSD storage. So there is this icon here to view the console. And once we do that, it's going to try and connect us. Um, we'll see some information here rolling on screen. And I think when I press enter, it's going to ask for my login remember that our login details are right there on the server password i'm going to use this to paste and blur this out it wouldn't show you anything um, typical with most terminals i press enter password should be correct uh oh so welcome to Ubuntu. I think I am good to go. So I can now start to install. Following the guidelines here, I think I should just have two screens set up. So we have the guidelines for installing here. If you're using Potty, it's kind of straightforward. You put in the IP address, but because we're using uh, Vulture directly, we can just connect to the terminal without necessarily needing the ip address so the next thing um, here is to put in a password we have already done that and then we need to run the script which is the first thing sudo app get update and get up upgrade as well so we do this copy i use the paste function here command v and paste Minimize this, click in here and enter. It's installing. Yes. Appears that that went correctly. The next step is also to install this headless something, something, whatever it does, I have no idea. Come in here, paste it. minimize this click in here press enter you're now installing the linux headless version of the gallon nodes yes i'm going to choose yes press on return or enter it's going to install please wait while installing so i have 15 minutes to authenticate this url so i would go to a new URL here and go HTTPS four slash four slash auth dot gala dot games four slash activate user with question mark user underscore code equals caps v m l v dash w n r g i don't have my glasses on so i'm not sure if that's correct hopefully it is i press enter yes i can confirm then that is correct information but now i need to log in it might ask for two-factor authentication i'm not sure yes it does what time login password with google authenticator you need to install that if you don't have on your machine for your own safety so i'm going to enter in my code at one So congratulations, I'm all set. 
Um, what else do I need to do? So I think it might take a few minutes for it to register on the on the console that I have done that successfully. Yeah. So now I need to use the down button by clicking here to select music player. Now go back up here. So X for the music player. Make sure you have that correctly. I made a mistake the first time I tried to set this up and I did not. And now my node has been connected or configured it should now run with gala node daemon so i haven't saved that i think i can press down now to exit and installation is complete it would appear that if i should go now to app.gala games and check um note.gala.games rather refresh this information um, still doesn't show anything yep i can see one module online but it's not showing me the node information yet so if I went to music.gala.com So I think it might take some time for that to show up but I have one node on this account and this is my daily decibels. You know, needs to run for six hours per 24 hours UTC to be rewarded with a decibel. And then you see total amount of decibels that you've gotten. Um, and that's the beauty about running a node on Vulture because the server is constantly running. You don't need to have it running your system. You could download the software and run it on your own personal computer, but you have to make sure that at least for six hours, uh, consecutively the the system is running and doesn't have any break in terms of Wi-Fi connection or you know uh, power outage for you to be able to earn on the platform so that is how I think it should work um, I should wait a couple of minutes to see if yes now I can see that my music node is running on the platform and uh, it's been online for just two minutes and I think I should be able to track uh, my rewards as well as every other thing from here so that's all on how to set up your gala music notes um, if you have any questions still feel free to ask um, just everyone in the community including myself should be willing to help as many of you guys as possible if you did not buy into the node service early um, you can register an interest you have to create an account and make sure that you register your interest um, there's a link here on their twitter account that will lead you to a form and you provide your details so that they can update you with information on when the next node licenses will be sold I'm I'm not sure when that's going to be i have no idea um but exciting times ahead for gala music as well as gala film and um hope to see you guys at the top until i catch you guys on the next one stay winning